Hey, it's Andy Palmer from Elegant Marketplace, and today I've got a quick tip. It's a, to do with transparency on your menu, just up here. And I've obviously made this very much bigger, although some people do like the text big on their menu. To show you what happens normally when people uh, assign a menu and a logo, just up here. There you go, see that? That's a bit annoying to some people. So I've exaggerated it by making the text extra big and the logo a little bit extra big there as well. Everybody loves a big logo. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you how to keep this the same size as the logo as it is now, because people don't like sometimes the divvy habit of making that logo shrink. So there you go, let's go on to, to that and let's get into the video. So let's get ready and do this. So we go to the dashboard, theme customizer. So if you're inside your website, just go down to the Divi icon and choose theme customizer. If you're viewing your website, you could see exactly how easy that is. So we go into uh, the header and navigation. We go to primary menu bar and we look at the menu height. So that's this menu height that we want there. And we want that 60 pixels. That's what I've set it as because it's quite big for that. And I want my logo max height at 60 as well. So you just drag this uh, little bar around and it is a bit awkward. There's uh, been some uh, comments on Divi theme users group in Facebook and certainly on the forum of Elegant Marketplace uh, that really we could do with a bit of a, a text amendment on there. But frankly, you know, that's a minor thing. All you got to do is drag it. If you can't get it quite where you want it to be, that's at 61 hit your arrow cursor to the left or the right and that will be one pixel and there you go you've got it exactly at 60 pixels have a look at your text size as well i want it at 21 so i'm going to save and publish that i then look and i go to my fixed navigation settings now obviously i've set this up before because I don't want to waste too much of your time. So that's set at 60. And again, if I drag it, it's a little bit awkward, but I can get it there if I want it to be. So it's dead on 60. One, two, let's make sure it is 60. Yeah, and my text size should be 21. I'm not going to muck about with that. So I'm going to save and publish that. Now don't forget, we've set the transparency completely. So there's no tinted uh, menu background color in there. We could do a menu uh, background color and tint it, but for this exercise, I'm not gonna do that. So once I've saved that, I close it down and I go straight to my dashboard and Divi and I go to my theme options and I make sure that the fixed navigation bar is set to enabled. I go back to my site and voila, there's no shrinking of the menu. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip on how to make a non-shrinking um, transparent menu in Divi 2.5. I'm Andrew Palmer, Elegant Marketplace. Come visit us and see me on the Facebook forum whenever you like. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.